Hey friends, today I am checking in to Disney's Wilderness Lodge for a Memorial Day vacation. I am so excited to be here. I love this resort and I was looking for a resort that actually had a lot of nature aspects and also a place where I can do a little Disney cookout for the Memorial Day celebration. And this is the perfect spot. So let's go do this. This resort has always been one of my favorites. I love the smell in here. I love the design and just how like open it is. And it's really tucked away. When they say Wilderness Lodge, you are in the wilderness. I'll tell you that. Currently, Disney is still asking guests to wear face coverings whenever they're inside the resorts or indoors. But you can take your mask off while you're outside all you want. Right now, I'm going to head on into the main lobby so we can go check out our room. So that's so why I had to put the mask on and uh, just enjoy the day. This is also probably one of my top three like Disney World lobbies. It is so magnificent in here and I love just coming and enjoying this resort, especially during Christmas. And as soon as you get in, you just get that wonderful like resort smell. Uh, this one is kind of like uh, wood chips. I don't know how to describe it. I absolutely love it though. It is so signature to this resort. It just gets me every time. But just look at how beautiful it is in here. I love it. I love everything from the lights to the fireplace and the lobby is just so beautiful with all these nice chairs. Very, very cool in here. After we check out the room, we're going to go walk around and I'm going to show you some of the cool resort amenities here. There are tons of activities and they even have some Memorial Day activities going on today. Here is a look at the Memorial Day activities I was talking about. They have a Stars and Stripes Bear Scavenger Hunt, Patriotic Premium and Mickey Tie-Dye Shirts. Ooh, they're even doing a movie under the stars tonight for Cadet Kelly. Ooh, Family Trivia Night. That's awesome. One of my favorite things about staying over at the Boulder Ridge area is when you're walking down to get into the building, it has this amazing music and it, it kind of makes you feel like you're about to embark on a wilderness adventure. I'm not too sure if you can hear it. It's not that very loud at the moment, but it does have its moments where it gets loud. But it's just so beautiful and peaceful down here. Do you see what I'm talking about with the music? I feel like I'm like, yes. <laughs> I love how we're just surrounded by nature and inside the main lobby of Boulder Ridge here has one of my favorite places to sit down and relax. I can't wait to show you this one because it's so amazing. The lobby itself here is a very nice lobby. It's not gigantic like the Wilderness Lodge main lobby, but this is a nice quiet little lobby. I love how it's designed and they have all the different animal carvings, tons of more fireplace spots to just relax. It's very pretty in here. Now we're gonna make our way up to the room though. I cannot wait to show you this room. It is so amazing. We are on the fourth floor and I love how they had little Mickeys in the corners up there. And I think our room number is 4512. Oh yeah, right here it is. One door. <laughs> this room is massive and it's way too much just for me, but it's the only thing they had available. And also it gives you guys a chance to see what this room's like. So at least I'm able to show you in case you ever want to stay here, especially with the big family because this accommodates a lot of people. I think it's two bedrooms, two baths, but there's three beds. And then there's also sleeper sofas all over the place. I'm gonna give you the grand tour and we're gonna start as soon as we walk in the front door. This is the living room and dining room area. It is massive, I love it in here so much. I love the color scheming and just the wilderness. These chairs are so fancy. I really, really do like it a lot here. Beautiful. It has a full kitchen with a washer and dryer and also a little breakfast bar area. Of course, we got to have the resort TV on, but here's the breakfast bar area I was talking about. And then here's that kitchen. Isn't it so beautiful? It comes equipped with everything. A full fridge, a stove, a toaster. It's got all the fancy plates, a little teapot. Fridge is definitely fully stocked, except for the French vanilla creamer. 
Oh, I forgot it. But there it is. I got some of this. I'll have to make do. It has two bedrooms, but it also has uh, like three closets that are the size of bedrooms. So it's almost like a six bedroom uh, resort room, honestly. I'm really not kidding with you. This is the first closet I noticed when I walked in. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty big. It goes all the way back. You can get lost in there. And then wait till I show you the other closets inside the rooms. So here's the first uh, room here. And it's, I think this is like the main room. So we'll see. Oh yeah, this is the main room. They got a jacuzzi tub. Look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. One thing I noticed that the balcony is actually a gigantic balcony and it's not in the main room here. Usually the main room has the balcony, but it's the other room that has the balcony and the living room. So it's a very large balcony. But I love all the artwork. I love the trees and the lamps that they have. And of course the tub is really awesome. And then over here, that is where they have the washer and dryer. And this is the bathroom area. It has the jacuzzi tub like I pointed out. And I love all of the artwork inside the tiles there. And then this is the shower room. Very fancy, that's a nice shower. And do you remember earlier I was telling you about the closets and how big they are, they could be bedrooms? Take a look at the closet in this bathroom. This easily could be another bedroom. What the heck, right? Look at you could just lay down here. Oh, it actually goes all the way in. We are in the closet bedroom. It's got the uh, electrical box. It's got an ironing board. You can actually set this ironing board down and lay down. I wonder if I can actually lay down in here. Oh yeah, this could work. You need to shut the door. No privacy at all in this place. And now we're gonna head on over to the other room. I like these doors too. It's very nice, I love all of this. And the other room actually has two beds in it in a huge bathroom. Might be bigger than that bathroom. Yeah, look at this. Two beds, I love the headboards in here. And then look at this like bathroom area here. It's huge. I mean, it doesn't have a jacuzzi tub, but definitely has enough room that it could be a jacuzzi tub. And it, I think it just has a regular tub, not even a stand-up shower. Oh yeah, just a regular tub. It's a very nice tub though. And okay, again, seriously, with the closets, this is insane. For real, take a look at this. So I thought that maybe the toilet was in another room. This is just the shower door, but this is another closet. And it's huge. It even comes with extra pillows and blankets in here. I bet you people do stay in here. Like you really could, like I can lay down here, shut the door and like be perfectly fit. Seriously, just in case you didn't believe me, there is enough room in here to like have a bedroom. And now I wanna show you guys the balcony. So we're gonna have to go back out here. Ooh, it's a little bright. Now the balcony is a really nice balcony. I didn't get the greatest of views, but it's because I didn't actually put in a room request. I just asked for the highest level. I should have probably asked to overlook the pool side. I don't think that's an additional charge. So if you do come, uh, I would ask for the pool side or the lake view. This one is more of the wilderness and the wilderness lodge itself. Take a look at this. Oh, it's a little squeaky. Huge balcony, I mean, we have two chairs here, two chairs over there, and look at, it's all just wilderness out here. I like it, it's very peaceful. You can't hear nothing, just trees, and that's it. This is the walkway that we walked in at, and this is where that epic music was playing. I wish we can hear that epic music, that would be actually really awesome. What do you guys think though? Like I said, it's a pretty big room, right? I mean. I was like, wow, this is actually huge. And I like how that it's kind of tucked away from the main lobby. So you do get a lot of like peace and quiet here. And that's something that you might like. Some people like to actually have the sound of like, you know, a busy area, but I like peace and quiet. 
now I think we're gonna head out and I'm gonna walk around the resort and give you like a, kind of a tour of the grounds themselves. We have to find out where the grills are at. Here is a little bit of a rundown of what the day's like. Like I said, Monday, May 31st, Memorial Day. It's 518, 87 degrees out and 71 degrees tonight. I can't wait to show you the little things we're gonna be cooking on the grill. I'm excited. I mean, I'm not going all in. I'm just going a little bit, but I thought, uh, you know, Memorial Day cookout sounded amazing and I wanted to have one. I could have done it at home, but the Wilderness Lodge is so amazing. Oh, this music is just so amazing. I love walking through this lobby. It's so cool. Ooh, we have a couple more of uh, Walt artifacts over here. I didn't notice this before. See, isn't that still so amazing? I wonder if these are some of Walt's hats. Now there are two different pools here. You have the Boulder Ridge pool and then you have the main one that's at Wilderness Lodge. So it's cool when you have resorts like this to have multiple pools. This is the quiet pool is what they turn to. And it's actually really well themed. It's got a bunch of different mining props in there. I want to show you a little bit of it, but maybe a little bit later because right now there's a lot of people in there swimming. And I don't want to show you guys that, but it's still very beautiful. If you like to run too, it has a great running trail and it is a massive resort. Overall, it is very big here. Here's just a good look at the map. I mean, we are right here. And this is the Boulder Ridge section. These are the cabins. And then this is the main Wilderness Lodge lobby. It goes all the way up here. So like I said, it is very, very large. I'm hoping that maybe there wouldn't be a lot of people looking to cook out on Memorial Day. I mean, I know Memorial Day is like a popular cookout day, but I don't know if a lot of them are coming to Disney to do that. I mean, I, that's, that's why I came. Uh, so we'll see how many grills and maybe we might have to wait. On the other side of this little bridge is the, the cabin area and these cabins are so amazing. I think it's very fancy how they have them set up. One day I'm gonna stay here though. It's definitely on my list. Oh, and I found a grill area. Look at that. Here it is. And actually it's a gas grill. The gas grill area is for exclusive use of Disney Wilderness Lodge guest. Must be 16 years or older to actually operate it. And it's very nice. It's got a little kitchen area. And I didn't know it was gonna be gas grilled. That's really interesting. Now for the test. Is it clean? Oh, not too bad. Oh. All right, I'm happy. We can do this. So cool. Now we know where we're going to be cooking out later. And we have uh, kind of a plan. Oh, I'm happy. I'm very excited for today. Another cool thing when you're walking around is you can see footprints from the animals. They're all around. That's really nice. That's a little touch of Disney, I say. I'm sure after we have our cookout, we'll definitely be going to Geyser Point. I mean, I can't stay here and not go to Geyser Point. It's so amazing there. And also just take part in some of those cool festivities they had. We also got to see the Geyser. We can play cornhole later on or just hang out by the water. It's probably going to be a little bit windy here because there's a nice breeze. But take a look at all of that. Isn't it an amazing? Bay Lake. So amazing. I love being here. And like I said before, we're definitely going to be hanging out here at Geyser Point. It is one of my favorite bars just because you have this amazing view. I mean, you can't beat this. You can come down and sit here and they'll come wait on you. They also have good food here. It's probably going to be better food than what I'm going to be cooking out. But I, like I said, I just wanted to cook out. I wanted to feel fancy for Memorial Day. And here is the Geyser. The Geyser usually shoots off on the hour, but I think it might be drained right now. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Maybe we'll see. We'll keep an eye out. The geyser is really cool to actually catch it going off. And if you didn't know it was going off and you just walked by, it probably would be like a, a, a sudden jump because it's usually like whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> And I came over to Geyser Point and look at this. French vanilla creamer. That's the way. But my favorite part of the resort is actually right outside the main lobby. This is such a beautiful area. The sun is shining right in my eyes, so I'm using my hand to block it. It's doing pretty good, but I need to get sunglasses. Look at this, isn't it amazing? Huh. This is one of the most beautiful 
this resort I've ever seen. I love just coming here and smelling that water and the trees. Makes me feel like I'm kind of back in Pennsylvania a little bit. Now I think it's time we head up to the room and grab our grilling utensils and get all ready to have a nice little cookout. I'm excited to eat. I'm a little bit hungry, but also I'm um, sad because I wish I was eating the bison burger. Maybe uh, tomorrow I'll get the bison burger. That sounds like a good idea. Bison burger is phenomenal. Looks like the grill is actually still hot from the last time somebody was using it. And I see that it has a little bit of debris on the grates, but I don't have a grill brush. I think they have like grilling supplies at the uh, recreation area. So I'm going to run over and ask them real quick. For gaming equipment or grilling equipment, please knock. Wow, this is fancy. You get a whole set. They give you everything in here. So you have to sign a little waiver to like check these bad boys out. Ooh, very fancy. Top of the line. Looks like we're missing some bristles. <laughs> so we're gonna clean off these grates a little bit. There we go. Oh, that smells good. Luckily, I have a friend with me on this grilling adventure. And uh, I'm excited, aren't you? I'm very excited. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Woo. We're gonna let this bad boy get up to around 400 degrees, maybe 500. Then we're gonna put our food in there. I didn't even tell you guys what we're cooking. We're gonna have some kebabs tonight. We've got teriyaki kebabs and then just regular plain kebabs. It comes with peppers and onions. And then also we got some potato salad and uh, a little red, white, and blue salad over here. Fancy. I got two teriyaki kebabs and two regular ones because, you know, teriyaki sauce is kind of hit or miss. So if we don't like the teriyaki, we forgot the fallback. You gotta have the fallback. We're gonna put these bad boys right in here. We're gonna do a little bit and try to get a nice grill mark on them. There we go. I don't wanna forget which one's teriyaki because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to tell after it starts cooking. We'll see. Ooh, hot. Look at those bad boys grilling. We're gonna mark up the kebabs a little bit and then we're gonna put them on the upper level and just let them, <laughs> let them soak in there. Let them sit and slow cook. That's how you do it. And you gotta do the quarter turn. There we go. That's the way. Quarter turn. medium rare let's see how they're looking on the other side oh look at that much too good sitting out here grilling it is super hot i'm like super sweaty right now because the grill's like 500 degrees and i think it's in the 90s today it's a beautiful memorial day though we're so blessed with the high uh temperatures this whole entire week i think it got up to 98 degrees uh i think that was just the other day actually today it's about like 93 94 maybe 95 96. looks like these kebabs are ready to go up top a nice little char on the outside and we'll put them back here. Whoo! That is hot. This one too. Bada bing. Yeah. This one. Bada boom. Ha! Ah. Now we're gonna drop the temperature, close the lid, and let them smoke. That's the way. Sitting here, grilling out Memorial Day. This was great. I feel so much happiness happening right now. It's definitely really cool vibes. I'm happy I made the decision to do this because I would do this again. Like maybe I'd make it a Memorial Day tradition. They also have the animal proof trash cans out here. So you got trash and recycling. So that way no animals come by or bears or beets, anything in that matter. Looks like they're just about ready to come off here. A little bit stuck though, I don't want to lose any peppers. Oh yeah. Pop them bad boys right there. That's the way. I can't tell which ones are the teriyaki now though. 
and take a look at the finished product here. A little bit of potato salad and everything that works. I like the char on the peppers. That's what I was going for. I wanted char, but I wanted it to be cooked around mid-rare. So I hopefully I did good. I can't wait to dive into these bad boys though. I think I did a pretty good job. Did you okay? No, I feel good. Okay, good, good. I love asking her questions in the middle of a bite. <laughs> I set you up on purpose. Mmm. It's a little bit overcooked. Like I said, I wanted that nice mid rare, but it looks like about medium. But I'll take that though. Not too shabby, and I haven't got to a, a pepper yet. Maybe I'll take this one off this side just to give it a go. I wish they had picnic tables here though. I mean, they do have like this nice little bench, but nowhere you can eat, eat. You know, and you don't want to take it all the way back up to the room because by the time you get up there, it's going to be cold. So I guess we're going to stand up and eat. Because so like that, <laughs> I got mine right here with the good old Stella. I do have some Bud Light in the room, but it's a special occasion. So you had to get a little Stella. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying just hanging out here and it, like, like uh, listening to like the trees and just actually it being kind of really quiet the sun isn't set to set for like another hour but it's getting into that golden hour and i'm just eating a, a steak kebab at the wilderness lodge can't go wrong <laughs> this is really happy happy memorial day <laughs> Now I gotta take our grill set back. I did notice that on that waiver, uh, it said at $25, if it's not returned, they charge the room. This is definitely not a $25 grilling set. <laughs> now I think we're gonna head back up to the room, grab some more drinks, and then possibly head on over to the main lobby, maybe do that scavenger hunt for Memorial Day. I think that would be fun to do. And then of course, to see the night takes us. Geyser Point's probably a good stop. A sunset, some epic music. Seriously though, just look how beautifully peaceful it is over here. I really am enjoying this experience. I decided to change up a little bit. Got a little hot and sweaty out there by the grill. Now I'm wearing my Stitch Spirit jersey for 626, which is coming up in 26 days. Stitch day. I think we'll make our way down by the water by Geyser Point. You like cornhole? I love cornhole. Okay. Well, I challenge you to a game of cornhole. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if we're going to be able to play cornhole though. Looks like they're setting up. Oh no! Cornhole has been cornholed. We were too late. Just a little. We're about to start our trivia night. Oh, are you doing trivia on the big screen? Uh, not on the big screen. Just in front of the big screen. Oh, fancy. What kind of trivia is it? The usual stuff they give you challenge here. accepted <laughs> since we're down here and we can't do cornhole they're gonna do trivia might as well see if we can get a couple questions it's Disney trivia we can grab some beers from Geyser Point and just sit down and see what we do see how we do we got a spot right here at the bar a couple minutes before trivia starts so we might as well get a drink like I said I like sitting here though it's so pretty I like sitting in here but it's also a very popular spot for the ducks they kind of have the right of way. Look at, there's about like six ducks here. And they're, they're just, they, they own this place. We bow to their will. I don't even have any food. I wouldn't feed you anyway, but look at this. Oh, oh, nope. Hey, stay back. Oh, wow. Look <laughs> Looks like they're set up and ready to go for trivia. We're about to win. What's our team name? Our team name is... 626. 626. It's very appropriate. <laughs> I think we'll take the back row. All the cool kids sit in the back row. <laughs> this is really relaxing sitting here right here. This is nice. There's yeah. a nice breeze. Good for cheers. 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 <laughs> I can smell the horse poo from Tricircle D Ranch. <laughs> yes, it's like the horses are here. <laughs> yeah, the horses, uh, honestly, I think it's, honestly, because of the breeze, I think it's literally wafting the smell all the way over here at Wilderness Lodge. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. <laughs> it is very windy, but we're going to make the best of it. We have ourselves a little bit of a team name here. 626. Six. There we go. Is it, what, 20 questions? Oh, well, good luck. No Googling. Put the phone away. 
<laughs> question. This is a good variety of questions. So we're going to have some that are music-based questions, and then we have some that are parks, and then we have some that are animated and live action. We've got a whole variety of any Disney Parks questions you can think of. The American Pavilion in Epcot was one of the original countries in World Showcase. True or True. false? Danny's gonna play our music. Ooh, name the tune. Oh, oh, oh. I see what's happening from? here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. You don't even know how to feel. It's adorable. And a Florida. So, I think, uh, I'm not too sure. Number one, it was Walt Disney once said, Mickey right, Mouse is, is a, a symbol of what? what? And I said, hope. World attraction is this tune from. This is a good one. Come on. Oh, tricky. That's a tough one. That was super okay, quick. Well, I think we did pretty well. But a couple of them, they did stump us. I'm really not too oh, sure right. and then what Walt Disney three, said Mickey false. Mouse is a symbol for. I said hope, but it could be love. And I want to Google it, but that's against the rules. So we're going to go with what my first thought was. I'm sure I'm wrong. But yeah, these are the answers to most of them. What about the restaurant right, that was in downtown Disney that was dedicated to Walt's wife? I think it was Fulton's or we were Fulton's okay, was. Uh, Disney once referred to Mickey Mouse as a symbol of what? What did we say? Hope. Someone said patriotism. Hmm. Maybe not. It's not freedom, but it's almost the same thing as freedom. Oh, not freedom. Liberty. Liberty. It was independence. Independence. Oh. A symbol of it. independence. I'm thinking a symbol of hope is like Star Wars. Okay, you're going to go to I think we won. We only have Castaway Key. Four oh, wrong. Castaway four key. wrong, but we got yes, the bonus three Castaway questions. Castaway so technically we're Castaway 19 Castaway. out of 20 because we got there was one that said uh, opening day resorts in the contemporary Fort song. Wilderness and Polynesian. Where in Disney World can you hear that song? 15, 15. More whoa. than 16. Whoa, whoa. 17. Whoa, whoa. Oh no. How many did you guys get? 18. 18. 18. Oh, another awesome <laughs> job. Come on up. Claim your we get a prize! We get a prize! <laughs> we get that whole bag? Whole bag? Wow! <laughs> I can't believe we won and we got a whole bag. Like that's intense. So there was a three part question where you ended up getting uh, bonus points and that was the opening day uh, resort. So we got three bonus points for that and we got four wrongs so that put us at 19 or five wrongs. 18. 18. So that is amazing. Color brain. Oh wow. Came about all about guessing the color of things. Wow, that is so cool. Trivia challenge. I think it's like a pool floaty. Oh, cool. Or a, a ball, maybe. A ball, maybe. Oh, okay. oh boy. Oh, my gosh. Look at I can't believe we got all this stuff. <gasps> oh, a big bag of candy. <laughs> nice. That was so awesome. I can't believe we won, though, for real. And it's really nice little gay, like a uh, bag that they gave away. So cool, we did it. Team 626. <laughs> it's starting to get dark out. And one of the things I wanted to point out to you guys, I hear that if you get one of these corner rooms, it's a much bigger room. I did ask for one, but they didn't have any available. So let me know if you ever stayed at Boulder Ridge and you got one of these corner rooms, is the layout different and it looks like it's a lot bigger? I stopped back up in the room because we wanted to grab another drink or two. Now we don't need to buy drinks in the bars because we're staying here. So we have a fridge fully stocked. And also I wanted to see what the sunset was gonna be like. I had to choose between the sunset and actually trivia. And I'm glad we did trivia because that was really fun and we won. Oh, but it is beautiful out. Look at this happy family coming in with their lightsabers and balloons. That is adorable. And take a look at that. It's just starting to like sunset. So amazing.
Now we'll head back over to the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. I feel like we're hopping around a lot, but it's so adventurous. And we're gonna do maybe a little bit of the scavenger hunt for Memorial Day and try to find all the different uh, stars and striped bears. I think that'll be fun. I don't know if we'll be able to complete it, but just to give you a look-see. I believe all we have to do is go to the front uh, desk area to get our little sheep for the scavenger hunt. They have them printed out usually. We'll see if they're there now. They actually have a regular scavenger hunt with Hidden Mickeys. But like I said, this is a special one because it's Memorial Day. It's a patriotic scavenger hunt. This is the patriotic scavenger hunt. And you can see they have a lot of cool different riddles. So this one says this patriotic item is something you might wear and is certainly an article piece that interests the bear. He is currently wondering where you might start your vacation or where you can ask questions to make a few reservations. It's gotta be the check-in area. I'm gonna look around a little bit and oh, there it is. Kind of play in sight. <laughs> look at that. Right there, so that's what we're looking for, is little bears with the uh, shirt uh, or the item is what you would mark. Very cool, right here at the uh, check-in. Now, I'm not gonna show you all the bears because that kind of takes away the scavenger hunt in case you ever plan on coming doing it, but I just wanted to give you a little like, tip, show you where a couple of them are and show you the process of it. Now I think we'll take a pit stop into the Territory Lounge. This is one of my favorite places to come get a drink and I cannot wait for Artist Point to actually open again. I wanna do that so bad. I love the inside of the Territory Lounge. It's got a gigantic like map on the ceiling and there's even a hidden Mickey in here too. Here is the ceiling in here and take a look right there on the uh, horse's rear. <laughs> And that hidden Mickey is a part of the regular scavenger hunt that they have here that goes like uh, all year round. I decided on getting a mojito and then Erica got walked the plank. Fancy. Now we're gonna take our drinks or my mojito and we're gonna head outside. Ooh, yeah, I can hear the water pageant. Oh, well, we gotta go see it. I was hoping for a fire pit tonight to do some s'mores, but looks like no fire. At least we did catch the water pageant though. Look at so many people get excited about it, I love it. And now it's a great time because it is Memorial Day and this part is really about Americana. Now that we have actually went out and watched the electrical pageant, we also finished the scavenger hunt, the patriotic one. And they're all over the place, not just in the lobby. Like they're in other buildings down by the water. So we're all done, we have to collect our prize. All complete, look at that. So the mystery is still there in case this is still there and you wanna come and actually explore. But now I can't wait to see what the prize is. It's probably gonna be a, uh, a button or a sticker. What do you think, sticker? Sticker. sticker. Oh, you do. We got stickers. And then on the hidden Mickey, um, either one of them will do some uh, some buttons that are made exclusively for the Wilderness Lodge for the hidden. Oh, Mickey really? Yeah, so. I should have filled those out while we were walking around. And with that, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Though I'm gonna head up to the room, go to bed, wake up. I'm gonna try to do a sunrise. If I can't, then this is probably gonna be it. Uh, I had so much fun just hanging out here, grilling. It's been a fantastic Memorial Day. And I came outside to say goodnight to Erica, but I wanted to show you guys all of the amazing like crickets and noises in here. I think it's amazing. Honestly, I feel bad even talking. Like I want to be like, shh. Back up in the room now, and I think it's time. It's gonna call it a night. I mean, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but my favorite sunrise of all time was actually here. Uh, the last time I stayed here at Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek. So I would love to do a sunrise tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get myself to go to bed early. So that way I know I'm gonna wake up.
Sounds like a good plan, I hope. Anywho's, we'll see you in a little bit. See you in the morning. Yeah. So good night. Good morning. <laughs> It's 5.56 a.m. Good way to start the morning. It is also officially June 1st now. And uh, yeah, May was a pretty, pretty amazing month. I'm happy about that. I think I'm gonna go sit out on the balcony for a sec. The sunrise is happening on the other side, so we're gonna have to go down to the boat docks. I also love walking through the resort early in the morning and late at night because it's just so quiet and peaceful it's like a ghost resort and take a look at this even at 6 a.m they still got the fire going it's like motel six we'll leave the light on oh yeah we got high expectations for this sunrise this morning i'm very excited i was a little groggy waking up but now i'm like okay 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 Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be great. Mornings like this, I am just in my best. I am so happy right now. Got my coffee. Luckily, we had that French vanilla cream from Geyser Point. We brought it back up to the room, saved the day. And, oh man, it is so beautiful what I'm looking at right now. And now your host, Walt Disney. The world we live in would look pretty dull if Mother Nature used a black and white palette and painted only in shades of gray like this. But before we brighten things up with color in this show, it might be appropriate to recall those times when the movies, too, had their gray days, way back in the old silent era. In fact, when the animated cartoon was created, nobody gave color a second thought. Giving life to a static comic strip character was magic enough. And as for sound, well, if a cartoon character had something to say, he said it like this. Disney presents the wonderful world of color. Wow, that was amazing. Look at my face. It's still like golden hour like coming on me here. I feel like I'm yellow almost. It's so, so beautiful out. I wish I had more coffee. I ran out. I was just here sitting here. They're washing off guys are point right now. Look at them back there. They're cleaning off the patio. And it's just amazing. So beautiful and so relaxing. You can see the ferry boats are actually coming out to start the day. How long have I been out here for? Oh, I've been out here for just about an hour and uh, it's now coming up to 7 a.m. and I've already seen one of the ferry boats come out now here's the second one and they're getting all ready to go for a busy day at the Magic Kingdom I am so happy that I decided to just wake up and come do this because you don't get many days like this you know I mean in hindsight you do because sunsets and sunrises happen every single day but it depends on where the places are at you know what I mean like a, a sunset is amazing and same thing with a sunrise but where you're watching it from is what makes the biggest thing I feel like because sometimes uh, whenever I'm at Disney in general I just look at the landscape and everything surrounding it like the Sun coming up over Discovery Island and also Fort Wilderness like that's what was in the background there and I think that's amazing do you know what I mean like that's the cool thing now I only wish I can get in the parks and do this uh, I did one time do a sunrise uh, from the California Grill and I did get to see the sunrise over over the Magic Kingdom but it's on the other side so it comes up on this side so you only get to see the uh, basically lights turn on but wow I would love to do Epcot or Animal Kingdom those would be phenomenal I also like seeing everything before it starts opening look at the Sun still hitting like the reunion station Do you see my shadow like this is it's so bright and vibrant 
I love being an early bird and I also like being a night owl. Best times of the day when no one's around at night and no one's around in the morning. And with that, I am back in the room and I think we're gonna call it a day here. I tried to get Whispering Canyon Cafe uh, breakfast reservations, but no luck there. I even tried doing the walk-up list. That would've been good. Maybe I'll come back a day and do that because I've never done breakfast there. But anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was so fun. A little Memorial Day picnic and happy Memorial Day to all of you. And also, thank you to the Oldsman family. They supplied me with this room. Um, they had points left over that were gonna expire and they uh, set me up with this nice little spot to show you guys and make a video. So I hope it brings some entertainment, like I said, and even a little knowledge to people that want to visit and travel or come to the two bedroom villas. It was really cool and it was awesome to stay here. And the sunrise was amazing. It was also nice, uh, Erica came and she was uh, here for my picnic. So I got to have somebody to have a little Memorial Day cookout with and hang out a little bit afterwards. I'm just very blessed, I'm very happy and uh, Thank you guys so much, really. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.